we have to input three serum capacitors. We have two MOSFETs, we have coil. Three serum capacitors into input, MOSFETs, coil, we will get output. We have the IC, okay? We have the IC here, okay? So this IC will generate, basically, we have the coil, and here we will get 3.3 volt. Here we will get 3.3 volt always, okay? Here also we have inductor, and here basically we will get okay 5 volt always. Okay, we have inductor here. Let's see L1, L2, and that after that, of course, let's deal first with the output. In the output, we have you can find serum capacitor. We can find an electrolytic capacitor connected to the ground here. This is for filtering. Okay, we have inductor. We have here two MOSFETs, Q1. We have here Q2. Basically, Q1, my friends, the drain is always connected to three serum capacitors here. And those connected to what? Connected to B+, plus, my friend. B+, plus, the main voltage. And here connected to the ground, the same as we have here, my friends. Do you see? Do you see here, my friends? We have three serum capacitors. Okay. What we will draw right now, my friends, based on one comment of one of my, my followers, just by taking a look to the motherboard, easy. We will begin with 3 volt, 5 volt. We will see also how to draw RAM circuit, CPU circuit, all circuit. So I will just look to the motherboard. What we have here? We have to input three serum capacitors. We have two MOSFETs. We have coil. Three serum capacitors in the input. MOSFETs, coil, we will get output. And we have do in the output we have electrolytic capacitor, electric capacitor here, and of course we have the IC. Nice. So let's continue. So three serum capacitors, my friend, into input. Okay. And of course, the source for the of this one will be connected to the drain of this MOSFET, and then the source of this MOSFET will be connected to the ground. These two MOSFETs basically are controlled by this IC. Do we call it the three volt, five volt control IC? Okay. So here, my friend, the B plus, basically it's see 19 volt, will pass through this serum capacitor in order to be filtered and then will be present here in the MOSFET. So here 19 volt, here we will get, here my friend, we will get 3.3 volt. Why here we have 19 volt and here we will get 3.3 volt? Why? Because of this control signal. This is the controller that controls the MOSFET. Okay, my friends? The same, and of course, after that, the 3.3 volt will pass through this inductor here. Basically, these two components, the coil and the inductor, are here for filtering, to filter 3.3 volt in order to get here a pure and exact 3.3 volt in this side. The same, my friends, the same for 5 volt circuit. We have the IC, we have two MOSFETs or two switches basically. So Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. The drain also will be connected to three serum capacitors. As you can see, three serum capacitors connected to the ground. Here, of course, here we have B plus the same input, basically, my friends, 19 volts. And these two B plus, my friends, coming from where? Coming from, do you, do you remember when I told you that we have two switches in the input and then we have the current sense resistor or CSR? current sense resistor and here we will get B plus and I told you that this B plus will be distributed to all circuits. Yes, this is it my friend, distributed to all circuits. Okay, so this B plus, if for example in the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit you didn't find here B plus 19 volt, you should go here and check current sense resistor, is it, is it good or not, check the MOSFETs until the adapter or the power jack. Okay, nice. So the source of this one, my friend, will be connected 
to the drain of this MOSFET and then the source of this MOSFET will be connected to the ground. The two MOSFETs also are controlled by the charge IC. So the same 19 volt, my friends, will pass through the cell capacitors to be filtered and then will be present here, will be applied to this MOSFET, we will get here 5 volt. Why? My friends, here we have 19 volt, here we get 5 volt. Why? How? This is happen because of the IC, because of this control signal. Here, for example, we have water, a lot of water. Enter here, a lot of water. Water, my friends. Okay. But here, we get just a little bit water here. So here, this lot of water is 19 volts. Here, basically, this is the gate. And here we will get 3.3 volt. Okay, we have 19 volt, the same 19 volt. We get here 3.3 volt because we use this gate here. This is the gate. If we turn this one a little bit, we will get 5 volt. If we made another turn, we will get 8 volt, for example. Add another turn, we will get 12 volt. If we turn it until maximum we will get 19 volts okay this 19 volt will be also here but just a little bit we get 3.3 volt this same working principle uh, used with 3.3 volt ic 